the hell you gonna be the king of David? That was the headline. And they got you looking over here. Huh? Talk to me. Somebody signed up for that. Islam did not come into Africa until the seventh century AD. That's, right. That's history. Now, if you want to float off in outer space and create your own world, but it's documented that there is no Islam before the Prophet Muhammad. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's documented. That's documented. So when they talk about Islam, ism, ism, Moorish. <laughs> they ain't Asian, they Asiatic. See, that's the escape uh, hatch that they gonna jump through. Well, no, that ain't, we, that ain't what we talking about. That ain't what we talk, we mean this. Historically, Islam did not start until the Prophet Muhammad of Arabia, around 570 AD. Now, this gonna bring in this other wench, Madame Blavosky. Uh-oh, because when they go into that adept chamber, huh? That's where they're going. They bringing that pecklewood beast. Uh, she's a Khazar. She came up out of that arena, teaching that Kabbalah, Sufism, all that come up out of that Turkish arena. In Egypt during the mid-1800s, Madame Lovosky studied Sufis, Sufism, Coptic Christianity, and the Druze order, which she described as a last survival of archaic wisdom. Claiming to be a student of her master, Serapis Bay, while in Cairo, Madame Blavatsky met who? Jamal al din Afghan. See, now we got a link. Now we got a link. We got a link. This little low-life Iranian nationalist both Drew Ali and Madame Blavatsky, we got a link to him. And our, an outstanding Muslim th thinker, radical political leader, and Sufi teacher. She also tra traveled widely, often in Muslim dress, in the company of Albert Rawson, who would later write an account of his initiation by the Druze for Madame Blavatsky's book, Isis Unveiled. Here she is, the matriarch of the Moor Science Temple. When you're talking about Lumiria, she's the one that brought that into the occult teaching. When they went over there and uncovered them pyramids in, uh, in South America, they immediately called it a product of Egypt. Because they knew, based on history and the evidence, that the only place they have ever seen pyramids is in Africa. And so they called it like they saw it. And then these pecker woods came up with all of this garbage about somebody coming from a land that nobody can find, That's right. nobody can document. That's right. It's greater than Egypt, though. Oh, yeah. But we could go to Egypt and see all these magnificent monuments. Right. But they want to take us to Lumiria. She was into the Kabbalah, witchcraft, Sufism, and occult. She was an Eastern star. Takes us back to that Masonic background. Now. This is what you call a collage, or what she calls ascending masters. Now, an ascending master is one who through, I, I, I guess, righteous practice has taken themselves off of the wheel of reincarnation. They have floated up. They're up in the sky now. And they take certain individuals on the planet who they talk through and to bring knowledge to everybody else. The whole college of ascending masters. You see right here, Serapis Bay. You see Jesus and all these other pecker woods. They ain't got no, no brain to the lexicon. That occult garbage that this witch named Madame Blavatsky brought into the occult background. She's the Mary Leper witch of her day. That's right. they, they, they put her on the mission to, to spin us around from Africa. But a white boy came out on her. His name, you can't say it's Paul, is it Paul Johnson? The masters reveal Madame Blavatsky and the myth of the great white lies. Even a cracker came out on her, said that she made it up. Yeah. Well, I did that one already. Let me go through that. Now, this is the two ascending masters that, that speak to Madame Blavatsky. See this? Master L. Moria. Listen to me. 
See the L? Malcolm Blavatsky died before Noble Jew Ali was born. So all this literature was before the Moore Science Temple. Mm. So get over me. This, these names are in her books. See the L? See the Moria? Huh? And the other one, Lord Serapis Bay. She says that she was an Egyptian of death. Why was she a, a, an Egyptian of death? Because her senior ascending master was Serapis Bay. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Yes, sir. Do you see the Bay? You see the L, you see the Moria. Go into uh, the secret doctrine and go into Isis unveiled. Both copyrighted before the Moore Science Temple, before Drew Ali was even born. So I'm saying he's a master adept because in his esoteric teaching, he was studying under this peck of wood right here to wrap his back. That's why God is white. That's why he's an Egyptian adept. That's the grand master right there. 60 years in the field. How you gonna come up here, man, and teach that in front of this master teacher like that? I wouldn't even do it. <laughs> I, 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 I get over it right now. Say, I make a change. I make a change. I didn't know that, Sadie, but now I know I'm going to make a change today. You can't come out here in front of the Grand Master and think you're going to fool Dr. Ben. You ain't going to fool Dr. Ben. I wouldn't even do it. I wouldn't even do it. Here you go. The beloved ascended master, L. Morton. So when they say, we know that more means black, but they'll argue you up and down. That ain't what it means. It don't, because that ain't, we ain't talking about the historical more. They talking about this damn more right here. That's right. They don't want you. <laughs> See the diamond on his head and all this? Oh my God, when I started doing the research, man, I was almost in shock that, I, that the, the, the ancestor brought this knowledge to me. Seven minutes, Eddie. Okay, this is Madame Blavatsky. Here's uh, uh, what's his brother? Steel Olcott. They both formed the Theosoph Theosophical Society in India. And you see all these Indians and uh, Pakistani gurus, <laughs> but they'll tell you about over here. Make them call them on this. This is the cracker that went down to. South America, and he uh, excavated Chetsenisa. And he's the one, Madame Blavatsky brought Lumeria into the occult lexicon, but he's the creator of the world. When he seen the pyramids down there, seen the black deities, mm -hmm. seen the stellas, mm -hmm. you see all the, you see uh, uh, Bess in the center of the uh, uh, Omec, it's the Omec calendar, it ain't the Mayan calendar. Now the, oh, the Maya just came on the scene. The calendar was supposed to go back to how many thousands of years? If you wasn't there at that time, how could you have created it? How can you go back to a time when you didn't exist? They brought that knowledge over here. This is the cracker that came up with that concept. Lou Mary, to explain the way, the fact that our African people had came over here and educated those who were here into higher culture. That's right. You see it right here when you bring this picture up. Is that Masonic picture up there? No, but he ain't up there. But he was a 30, uh, a 32 degree Mason. Now I brought this from Mexico. This was a document that I picked up from them. You see what it said? Yucatan Egypto de America. When they saw it, it means Yucatan Egypt in America. And when they seen that, they said, we got to do something about that. Let's come up with Lumeria. Let's come up with Lumeria. And this cracker, James Churchward, wrote all these dumbass books, The Children of Moo, and this is what they got on their shelf. They ain't got Dr. Ben, Dr. Clark, Sheikh Diop. You can't be reading Dr. Ben and some damn Colonel James Churchward. It ain't go in no way possible that you could do that. Look at the cosmic forces of Moo. One and two. He got a, he gonna write two dumbass books on it. The Sacred Symbols of Moo. Now this is supposed to be in the continent right here. That's why they try to say that the Mayans brought knowledge to Egypt. They said it went from Mu to South America. And then it went to Atlantis or however, and then it came to Africa. 
They're trying to steal your history from you, black family. That's right. Don't do it. Don't let them do it. 